It's raining. <laughs> oh, it hasn't rained in so long. I swear. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god. That sound. Ah. I think this was on purpose, honestly. I am so happy, I feel like it was fate because today I woke up and thought I might as well start filming for Vlogmas, right? Because otherwise I will not have time to do 12 videos. So I just woke up and I listened to this beautiful sound that we haven't heard for a while because it has actually been quite hot for winter, but it's finally raining now. And it's amazing and it is the perfect start for vlogmas i would say we are finally getting some cold weather and i'm so excited i'm still in my pajamas obviously i, I just i literally just woke up <laughs> and as soon as it started raining i felt like it was the perfect moment to start filming for vlogmas which is so exciting i cannot wait to give you all the christmasy content and also watch everyone else's of course because People usually upload a lot during December, which is wonderful. I cannot wait for it. Oh my gosh, it started raining even more and the sky is getting so dark. <laughs> oh, I love it! Let's open the door to just listen. I think a lot of people must have done this when they were kids, but I remember being very little and pretending that the little drops of rain in the window were like tiny little worms <laughs> and they were racing and I was always checking to see which one would win the race. <laughs> I remember that so vividly and now that I'm looking at the window and watching all these little drops of rain, suddenly, I don't know, I just remembered those days and became a child again. But yes, welcome to Vlogmas, the first day of Vlogmas. Oh my gosh, we have so much to do. This video will probably include a book haul and some decorating, of course. I'm going to decorate my big Christmas tree and also my little one, which I always keep in my room because you just have to have Christmas all around the house, right? Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm actually going to a Christmas concert with my best friend, so that's amazing. It is one of our little traditions during Christmas. We always go to that concert together and hopefully we'll also be doing a movie marathon, of course. And I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to share all of this with you. I really hope you enjoy these vlogs. I'm very, very happy to be making them, of course. It makes me so excited <laughs> for this time of the year. I always am. I love autumn and winter and Christmas and it's perfect. <laughs> it's also still raining so much. I hope it stays like this during the entire day. Okay, now that I have my morning Christmas tea, I think we are ready for a little book haul. Most of these books I got at this beautiful part of the country, which is one of my absolute favorites. It is a perfect combination of a small town and nature, and I absolutely love it there. They also have a lot of bookstores with a lot of secondhand books, because it is actually a part of the country which is very much dedicated to literature and other forms of art as well. So it is just this very beautiful corner that always brings me so much joy. I went there last weekend actually, I even have a little video on my other channel with a few images of it and how it makes me feel and everything. I can link it for you in case you are interested, but it looks like one of those places where I would love to live someday when I'm much older and more independent of course and I can have my whole life figured out. <laughs> 
<laughs> or at least some of it. I would love to just own a little house near the mountains or the nature in general and be surrounded by art. That sounds like an absolute dream to me. It is so quiet and peaceful and just wholesome in the best way possible. But all of this to say that I did, of course, went into a few bookstores there. And while I wanted to bring a lot more books with me, it is very hard to resist. But I did end up bringing three books, I believe. They're all thrifted books and one of them must be very old, as you can see. But I just love when books look like this because to me, it just tells me that they were loved and just passed on to the next person who... In this case, it's me, of course. Lucky me. <laughs> so let's just start with this one, shall we? It is one of those beautiful oldish classics, the Wordsworth Classics edition, and it is Can You Forgive Her by Anthony Trollope. I believe this is the first book in a series, which is very exciting. I don't think I've ever read a classic series like this, at least that I can remember right now. Um, so I think that's very intriguing. Yes, it says this is the first of Trollope's six Palliser or political novels in which he combines his flair for storytelling with his clear-sighted view of the corrupt, shabby, hypocritical and sometimes noble sides of parliamentary life. It is a novel for today with a great introduction by Joanna Trollope. So I don't know much about this one but I have seen a few people recommend it during Victober actually. So when I saw it I thought it was the perfect opportunity to bring it with me me, also because I am slowly trying to collect these older editions of classics. I think they just bring a lot of charm to the table. And this is one of those collections that I would love to hear more books of. If I could find the entire series, that would be perfect. It follows Alice Vavasor? Vavasor, I think? That sounds like a Pokemon name almost. <laughs> But she is the heroine of this book, or the entire series, I'm not sure, and it says Though her vacillation between two suitors is central to the plot, it is overshadowed by the presence of the Pallisers. That's all I want to know. I like to know pretty much nothing about all the books that I read, so there you go. That's a little synopsis, but let me know if you've read this one or the entire series. I am very excited to get to it, as always, and it even came with a little treasure. Let me show you. It is a bookmark. Can you see it? I love that. I love finding little things that used to belong to other people, especially when books have annotations or anything. I don't think this one does actually, but it's just lovely, right? It feels like the book has been so loved and now I'm lucky to have it. So that's the first one. The other thrifted book I got was this little book. It is Days of Reading, Marcel Proust. Um, and this is the collection of great ideas by Penguin Books. I do own a few other books of this collection, but they are up there on my nonfiction shelf. But anyway, this is a collection of a lot of famous speeches or just little texts by celebrities, I would say. On the back, I can see some names such as Adam Smith, Waldo Emerson, Nietzsche, Leo Tolstoy, William Morris, Proust, Trotsky, etc. So it's a collection of great thoughts that have been said throughout history, which I find fascinating. And I bought this one because of Gilmore Girls, of course. <laughs> I've never read anything by Proust before, but they keep mentioning him in the series. So of course I got very curious. So there you go. <laughs> this is a teeny tiny book. I actually really love the color. I believe all the books in this collection have a similar design on the front. And it says, in these inspiring essays about why we read, Proust explores all the pleasures and trials that we take from books, as well as explaining the beauty of Ruskin and his work and the joys of losing yourself in literature as a child. If that doesn't sound amazing, I don't know what does. And the final thrifted book that I got, <laughs> I had to get it because, well, first of all, the subject matter is one of my favorite things, but also the cover made me laugh a lot, so <laughs> it is the Concise Oxford Dictionary of Opera by Harold Rosenthal and John Warrack. And can you just look at this cover? They truly are feeling what they're singing, aren't they? <laughs> 
I just love it. It reminded me of my, well, not mine, but of some oldish children's books. I don't know. Can you just picture it? Doesn't it seem like a book your grandparents would own? <laughs> I don't know, just this drawing made me laugh, but I think it's amazing because it truly reflects how dramatic opera could be, right? And shocking as well, because everyone in the public seems to be very surprised by what the singer is saying, which was a very common thing when opera first showed up and it first started happening to the general public and everywhere around the world. Um, I mean, when you gain freedom of speech and you get to make fun of powerful identities, I guess, and you get to sing about them, it was hilarious because people did not see that coming. So. So yes, this is a dictionary. I think it has a lot of famous composers here and also operas as well. This is very exciting to me because whenever I need to get a reference for anything for my classes or just, you know, as general curiosity, then I can just come here, which is very exciting. <laughs> And it's a book that, I don't know, I consider it a little bit of a treasure. I felt like it was a book I needed to own, you know? <laughs> it says it is an invaluable source of information on all aspects of opera, containing entries on individual operas, composers, singers, conductors, technical terms, and other general subjects connected with opera and its history. I love this so much, you have no idea. <laughs> And the last book I got, I got it in the mail a couple of days ago. It was an order that I placed a few weeks ago because it is our current dark academic speak and it is Thus Were Their Faces by Silvina Ocampo, which I believe is a collection of short stories. This is Emma's pick, although I don't think she was liking it very much and I also know that Lucy was a little disappointed by it, I would say. So I will of course be reading this one very soon, even though I believe we will be extending the period for this book a little bit. We were supposed to finish reading it in November and then have our live show in December, but I don't think that will be possible, unfortunately, because all of us seem to be having a pretty busy month in December, so what we might do is to save this book until the end of December, then we should have a live show around the start of January and then we'll start picking new books again. If that happens, we will eventually make a post about it on social media, of course, but just in case you are joining us for The Dark Academics, then just know that you probably have a lot more time to read this book if you haven't yet. <laughs> this week I also have a mission besides decorating my trees. I also want to find my tea advent calendar. I always have one every single year, so I need to go and grab one because I love getting a new tea every single day. Usually I love all of them. And the packaging usually is always so festive and beautiful, so I need to go and grab myself an advent calendar. So I think those are the main goals for the next couple of days. <laughs>
Our main tree is finally decorated and I am so happy, it makes my heart smile whenever I enter the living room and see all the lightings and decorations and stuff, I get so happy. So of course to end this little vlog as in an introduction to Vlogmas, I will be decorating my room a little bit, I do have a little Christmas tree that I will show you in a second, but before that I also wanted to show you something else which is extremely exciting and that I did mention previously as one of my biggest missions for this week and we did it we got a tea advent calendar <laughs> this has obviously become a bit of a tradition every single year both me and one of my best friends in the world we both get a tea advent calendar every year i believe she got one from the same brand but not this exact one for now i thought we could take a little sneak peek into this package because i still haven't looked at it but honestly i cannot resist any longer i need to see what it looks like inside without peeking at the actual teas of course but just to at least see what I'm getting myself into, <laughs> which is very exciting. Look at this packaging. I think it is one of my favorites, honestly, because it has a lot of nature elements. We have some trees and plants and also some butterflies, a bee, a ladybug, and then of course, randomly, someone playing in the snow. <laughs> Maybe this is coming from my head, from all the excitement that I'm feeling, but it does already smell like tea and a very good tea. <laughs> So let's see what it looks inside. Oh my gosh, okay. Are we ready? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm opening this big gift, which it is. It is a gift for myself. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. It's little teapots, I think. Is it? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Technical difficulties. There you go. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Look at them. It has little teapots with doors that you can open. Can you see that? <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, I cannot believe it is this time of the year already, <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, where's number one? Here it is. <gasps> this will be the first one. What will it be? Oh my god, I'm so curious. Okay, here we have the selection of teas, which I will not look into right now. I'm just showing you in case you are curious to look at it, but I want to be completely surprised, so I will not look to that part, but look how cute it looks. Oh my god. <laughs> I get way too excited about these things, I swear. Well, let's close this before I start opening all the teas before the correct time, I guess. <laughs> before I go, actually, I also wanted to talk about, well, my schedule for Vlogmas, I guess. I don't think it will be the usual Vlogmas because I'm not sure I will even finish filming and editing all the videos before Christmas. I would love one of them to be about Christmas Day itself and another one maybe with some Christmassy book haul. So I think Vlogmas will last until the end of December really and probably I will not be uploading a lot of days in a row because I asked everyone on social media and my Patreon as well if you'd rather watch a video every day for like 12 days or so or a video every other day. So what I think I'm gonna do is just upload whenever I can. Probably every other day, but it might happen that I upload like two days in a row and then wait for another day or two days. So it will not be a very strict schedule because it will really depend on the time that I have. I will still have a very busy time at work, at least until Christmas holidays, of course. So it really depends. I do have a lot of ideas, thanks to all of 
you once again i mainly asked everyone on instagram what you'd like to see from me what i can tell you is that there will probably be more vlogs than sit down videos but of course there will occasionally be a recommendations video or a tag video so it will be a nice mixture hopefully of all kinds of videos and i think in total there will be 12 videos ideally um it might be a little less or a little more maybe i will see so i just wanted to let you know that this will be completely casual really and it depends on the time that i have but i just want to bring you as much content as i can during december because it is the most wonderful time of the year isn't it i just adore it i know a lot of you do as well so hopefully you are excited so just keep waiting for some Christmassy content but of course if you do have any ideas or any videos you'd like to see from me then I would say you're still on time to let me know if there are any specific videos that you'd like to see in December just let me know in the comments and I will try to get to all of your ideas because they're always wonderful I love hearing your suggestions and meanwhile I'm gonna go and decorate my room a little bit